why small businesses win. If you look at the events over the last couple of weeks, I mean, just take a look at what's going on with the marketing programs of large corporations. Large corporations do stupid things. Large corporations get out of touch with their customer base. You want to market to your demographic, right? You want to market to your customer base, obviously. Businesses can get so big that they're either out of touch with the marketing base or they just don't care. Or maybe they have an agenda. Who knows? And this is why small businesses have an advantage. If you look at any decade in our history, there are always large businesses, large corporations that do stupid things and it opens up the door for a new small business to either start or really gain traction and grow. And that's great news for small businesses and entrepreneurs. In marketing, obviously, you want to put your marketing out so it attracts more people in your base and your demographic group to your product or service. And when you do this properly, you will grow, you'll sell more. You do your marketing correctly to your demographic base, your audience, your sales will grow. So what do you not want to do? Obviously, you don't want to forget your base. You don't want to say, I don't care about them. And you certainly don't want to anger them. Why would you do that? So let's look back over the last couple of weeks, and we have three large corporations that have really angered their base. First of all, for some reason, Anheuser-Busch, who sells Bud Light and markets Bud Light, thought it'd be a really good idea to collaborate with social influencer Dylan Mulvaney. Dylan Mulvaney is a transgender person, an actor, actually, and a major influencer on social media. So why in the world would you pick a major influencer on social media that in no way, shape, or form represents your demographic group, your audience that you want to sell to? Why do you even initiate anybody that is outside of your demographic? In fact, Mulvaney even mocked the sports world by coming on and putting out content that said, what, March Madness? I don't even know what that is. I thought we were having a hectic month. And there was immediate backlash. You had people pouring out cans and bottles of Bud Light on the ground. You had major stars out there saying that they're no longer going to support them. Uh, country stars saying we're not going to have Bud Light at our shows. You had uh, distributors that were having problems getting product out. You had stores taking the Bud Light off the shelves saying forget it. And even, even the Clydesdale horses were canceled. They canceled the Clydesdale horse show at one major distributor saying that, you know, we're just, we're just not going to do it. And not to mention Kid Rock had a few choice words to say. You've probably seen that. Bud Light's VP of marketing even came out and said that she was inspired to take the Bud Light user base down a different road. And she was inspired to try to get younger people to drink Bud Light. She wanted to update the fratty nature of the commercials. The fact of the matter is she's not trying to sell Bud Light. She's trying to change who you are and how you think. The audacity here is off the charts. Can you even imagine how happy their competitors are right now? But this is the point. Major corporations make major mistakes. Small businesses can react and respond to this accordingly. So how about all the craft beer makers out there? All the small business owners that are making and selling craft beers and small label beers. This is the time to take advantage of the situation. It's time to come out and support your demographic, your customer base, and double down on it. Then there's Nike also striking a deal with Dylan Mulvaney to put on sports bras and leggings and make videos and put that content out there. Well, he's making a mockery of the sport world. He's making a mockery of working out and getting fit. The craziness, it seems, has no end. So why is all this so offensive to their base customers when you're looking at Nike and you're also looking at Bud Light? Well, we have to go back to the transgender swimmer, Leah Thomas, and take a look at what happened there. So in the collegiate sports world, swimming, Leah Thomas, a man, decided that he was going to pretend to be a woman and compete in the sport. Obviously, he did really well. You know, women had fought for equal rights in sports for so long, and rightfully so. I mean, I think it's terrific. But now they're allowing the transgender men to come in and compete, and basically, women are being erased. And that's why people have gotten so fired up about this. Depending on a sport, a man's body can have a big advantage over a woman's body. People are extremely upset about this because, again, de facto, it erases women from women's sports. Then there's Riley Gaines from the University of Kentucky that has spoken out. She had to swim against Leah Thomas. She, as a woman, had to swim against a man in the same race. Gaines was physically attacked last week at San Francisco State University. She had given a talk about her position, and at the end, a mob came in and attacked her, physically attacked her, and she ended up being transported into a room and held in there for three hours. Campus police did not do a thing about it. 
So back to business, why would a company not just ignore their customer base, but almost on purpose, it seems, anger them? Well, either they're completely clueless or there's an agenda that is separate from the normal business of selling products and services. You can draw your own conclusions concerning each scenario. But again, this is where small businesses can zoom in and attack, go on the attack. If they are making a mistake when they zig in their marketing efforts, then small businesses use zag and use zag hard. When you see anger coming from their customer base, latch on to that and ride it. If you're a beer company that sells to the same demographic base, then go in hard on how you support sports. You support men's sports when men are competing against men and you support women's sports when women are competing against women. Go hard on that. Because when it comes to Bud Light, the real men of genius took a backseat to the woman VP of activism and she doesn't care about you, the customer.